All right. We're going to talk about accommodation and clothing for the backcountry. So I've gone to using a summer bag for three seasons. And the reason I have is because I bring more clothes and then it offers me a bunch of flexibility. But it's also because I can get a small light sleeping bag for cheap. I think I saw these on the internet just recently for 40 bucks. It's a 40 degree bag. And yeah, it might not last as long as a hundred dollar bag or hundreds of dollars bag, but for 40 bucks in a couple years, I'll get a new one. I bring along a, it's a Mac Tarn 2 tent. And probably by today's standards, this is a pretty heavy tent. The sleeping bag, by the way, these are my weights, 2.7 pounds. The tent pulls as is, is right at six pounds. Um, it's probably a little heavy for a two person tent, but it's a three season tent and it's nice and warm. So I guess there's kind of a trade off. Uh, as far as a thermarest goes, this is a 1.1 pound thermarest. It's uh, good and yeah, you could shed it, but uh, the campsites are often less than perfect in, in some of the backcountry brook trout lakes I go to. And after a five kilometer hike with all your gear in a canoe, it's nice to get a good night's sleep. And then my clothing, and this is my clothing to go in. The clothing uh, package weighs eight pounds in total. It's a substantial amount of weight and for sure if you're going in in July, in Algonquin Park and you've got a good forecast, you know uh, you probably don't need half this. Um, but this is what I bring in. So nice pair of rain pants. These are, are uh, mech. They're good Gore-Tex rain pants. Uh, sort of mid-range. Not uh, These ones are lined but basic Gore-Tex rain pants. Basic unlined Gore-Tex rain jacket. Again, cheap, uh, re relatively cheap, but good quality, uh, breathable. Uh, this is one of those Patagonia Nano Puff sweaters, and amazingly warm. So definitely in the fall and in the spring, I'm using that. My lantern goes in there because once I set up my tent, that's what I'm. I'm most likely to go for my fish finder so I don't break it and my fishing reels end up packed in with my clothing too. A flannel shirt, a breathable base layer top, a pack towel, I love these, a pair of cotton pants, uh, base layer bottoms, these are, this is uh, Kaplan, I also like the Murano wool ones. Um, a toque of some sort. I like this one because it'll fit under my ball cap so I don't lose the glare thing if I'm trying to spot fish. Uh, a cotton t-shirt and uh, underwear. A pair of really warm socks because sometimes your feet get cold and a pair of uh, thin socks for hiking. I these really warm socks have two purposes. If you're cold in the sleeping bag, then for sure a, a pair of warm socks is, is nice. But also, there are times where I don't wanna wear my hiking boots when I'm just sitting in the canoe and the bugs will bite your feet. If you get a thick enough pair of socks, they won't. You can kind of use them as slippers in the canoe. So a lot of the photos you'll see of brook trout on my Instagram have like a sock toe. It's because I'm not wearing shoes um, and the boots are on shore. And for hike-in clothing, I wear a Murano wool t-shirt. You can see I've got, can you see? This is probably time to replace this one, but amazing. And you don't stink. They're, they don't stink. They uh, breathe and they're warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Um, they're just a really good thing is a Murano wool, light Murano wool t-shirt. And then I'll soak down with this horrible Watkins stuff. I use the cream, wipe the cream on me, then I spray everything because it's going to be a really rough five kilometers. And rather than try and keep the bugs off me uh, while I'm sweating and wearing multiple layers, I go like this. And these are a light pair of 
you can see they're they're wrecked but they're they were just a light pair of mech uh, I think they're marketed as climbing pants but they're light cotton pants and and I wear those two when I get to the lake I set up my tent and then I wash these clothes and hang them up because they need to be the clothes that I'm gonna walk out in and in a couple of days a thin light set of clothing like this will uh, be bone dry when you put it on to walk out even if you're hanging it in a tent uh, it takes a it takes a day or two so it's probably not an overnight thing but I really like doing that because it it just means I'm putting on clean clothes when I walk out it's a lot more comfortable and at the same time then I have a swim I get into my nice clothing for while I'm around the campsite and kind of keep everything separate 